As the doors opened, I was greeted by a scene reminiscent of the past. Thousands of hens crammed into cages row after row for at least a hundred meters. When I walked slowly down the rows to check on the birds, I could see hens standing on uncomfortable sloping wire mesh floors. Others jostled for space on a perch, but the perches were slippery and instead of being able to rest, they spent a lot of time just trying to keep their balance. I saw many hens that were in poor condition. Their feathers were missing. They'd been damaged against the metal cage sides or pulled out by other hens frustrated by living in this tiny prison. And thousands of the hens' beaks had been partially amputated. It had been done without anaesthetic, so it was a painful mutilation. It's done to stop the birds injuring each other in this confined space, but it's another fix from the industry to keep hens in a cage rather than keeping them how they should be kept. I found areas designed for scratching, dust bathing and nesting, key welfare requirements for hens, inadequate or just not provided at all. You have to ask, who's being enriched here? It's certainly not the hands.